What is up everybody? So this is Luma. Huh. There's two parts, imagine and capture. Capture is more like photogrammetry or whatever. And this is the part that we're going to look at today. This is free as far as I know. Uh, and let us, that is cool, huh? That's cool. Let's cover this to see if it's any good or, or how we can use it, all right? All right, let's go. What's up everybody? Okay, so today we're going to cover something called Genie. It's it's a free software. It's made by Luma Labs. And uh, it's it's kind of exciting to see where the future is going. Uh, oh, you can click on all these little things. That's pretty cool. And it gives you the prompts to make them. So basically what this is, it's a, it's a prompt. We're going to use prompts to make models. Now this is pretty cool for like, you know, people that are... Uh, I wouldn't use them for any hero models, like uh, really detailed models. I wouldn't use it for any medium kind of models. I would use this for background models and stuff like that. Or people that just need a couple of assets to fill out their scene or something. I think that's where we are with this at the moment. Um, and let's let's see let's see how this works. Okay, so uh, let's let's get get prompt prompt get out of here. Let's do something like uh, monster with red hair hair and large teeth now you do have to be kind of accurate to get what you want uh that's not very accurate i i get it i get it now it does take quite quick look at that look at that Ari. i've got a monster <laughs> let's have a look you can click on one of these monsters and then let's see what you can do with it all right, so there's our wee bastard. Look at that. Look at that, Ari. That's pretty uh, not impressive. That's why I say, like, if you want, like, a cool little toy in the background far away, these things are pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Now, we have options here. Make high-res variation ones. AR predicted. You can choose, like, clay, plaster, metal, but we want AR predicted because we want the textures. And then you've got custom, Ari. you got custom. You can choose what you want it for. 3D Studio Max Blender all these kind of things uh which you know you can you, whatever well, let's just use the, the, the whatever and then you can re apologize the model if you click this on and off which will give it better let's let's take one without re topology and let's just take oh, okay it doesn't give you any and let's just you can choose what format you wanted to chuck it out of let's just take fbx for now and i'm going to i'm going to download this one so have a look at it all right it's converting the mesh and we'll be back it's already ready let's have a look at it all right so the speed of this is really fast but oh my god look at that now if you're using this in a game and you bake this out the lighting god help us all god help us all that's not a really beautiful or appealing uv map is it is it gary no, it's not Gary, it's Ari. Right, let's have a look at the actual model. Okay, so I brought the model into Maya, and I'm just having a look at it. This was a just a standard res. I mean, oh, how many is that? Try is 49,000. 49,000, Jesus. So like I said, you can use this for something like in the background or whatever. Okay, I've just slept on the albedo so we can take a look at it. So, like I said, man, if you're using it for like a little toy in the background, it's fine. It's totally fine. It's fine. And if you've got something like Maya or Blender, you can just take the mesh and you can re-topologize the little bastard, ignore and continue. And then you'll get something, you know, uh, a lot more <laughs> clean. But you're going to lose your UVs, okay? You are going to you are gonna lose your UVs. So um yeah i don't i don't know i don't know mate cape original i don't know yeah i don't know like it's it's pretty cool for really background things if you're doing a masterpiece or whatever look man it's not there yet it's definitely not there yet but it's very exciting it's very exciting what's coming up let's try something else let's try something easier like uh let's say you want a plate of food plate uh a plate of unfinished food with hot dogs and ham burgers and fries let's see what we get there okay let's see what we get there Addy. all right so we got a couple they don't look beautiful let's be honest that's burgers on its side i don't know what the hell's going on there but let's try this one okay creating a 3d model i mean you see these kind of things 
you know, if you're using it kind of, I'd say from there, I mean, it could be all right, right? I mean, that doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I don't know. Looks all right. Close up, nah, nah. But all right, all right. It's a benefit of the doubt. Let's make it high res. Now we get this. We also get variations. So it does give us variations of the darn thing. Let's see what we get there. Okay, so that one's wrecked. That one's looking... Uh, yeah, that one looks good. This one looks all right. And that one, kind of. Okay, let's pick this one. Let's see what we get. Let's see. Okay, so we got this. We got this. It's all right. Okay, let's let's see what happens when we make high-res, okay? Let's see. I'm making a high-res version of this, and let's see what happens when we come back. So, as you can see, man, it takes a good amount of time to generate the high resolution of it. Um, but let's see the results. Maybe they're cool, right? Uh, so far, this has taken about maybe 30 minutes. Maybe 30, 20, 30 minutes. No, yeah, it's quite crazy. Okay, so I think this one is crashed or something. It didn't come out, so I'm going to go back to a low-res version. And uh, not that one. Let's go back to one that we can use and try that again, okay? Uh, yeah, okay. No, that's hideous. Um, there we go. Let's try this one, okay? I'm going to make it high-res, and let's see what happens from there, okay? Okay, so both these models seem to have stopped at 95. This is after an hour. Uh, this one's way over an hour, so it's itty what itty. I don't know. Uh, let's try something totally new. Okay, uh, I think this is cool for objects and stuff. I don't think anything like organic. So I'm going to try a statue of a Halloween pumpkin. Let's try that. Let's try something like that. And we get these results, which are actually pretty damn cool. Okay. Um, let's try Let's try this one. Boom. <laughs> Alright, Ari. So that's what we get. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Once again, these can be used far off, you know. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at some variations because it's not perfect. But I think it's the variations that I gave us before, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. No, it makes new ones. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's take this one. This one looks. This one looks cute. And that's it. Not so cool up close, is it? <laughs> Jeez. But pretty cool. All right, let's try a high res of this one. Okay, let's see what that does. And we'll come back. Okay, I think something is wrong with this. Because after ages, uh, all three of them are still on 95%. So let me let me kill it. Let me kill it. And I'll, I'll come back to it. Let's see what we can do. Maybe start a new one. Okay, so if it gets stuck like that, just close it down and start it up again. And uh, it looks like it's working now. There we go. I got my food. I got everything, mate. Right, let's start off with the food, okay? Uh, so this is the high-res version of it. Uh, still, you're not going to get away with that close-up. Maybe somewhere there or there, even better there or further away. Okay, so what I've got to do, mate, is I'm going to retopologize it, high-resolution mesh, and I'm going to download it, okay? Let's do that um, and see see what, what it gives us. Okay, that actually took pretty damn quick. Uh, let's have a look at the... Where. Okay, this in real time with baked lighting is going to be a nightmare. Maps like this, okay? Um, also to retexture. I, I, I don't know, it's better to make your own UVs. For like background objects that you just want to throw in, it's fine. It's all good. It'll all work. I'm trying to look at this as a bit of a professional point of view as well. So the professional view and... Oh no, that that's, that's the monster! It lied to us! Alright, this is the new one. A little bastard lied to us. Once again, I mean it's fine, but all these little pieces that I'm missing, nightmare for baking. In normal renders and Daz or Maya or whatever blender you want to use this in, it's fine. It's totally fine. Um... So let's have a look. Let's have a look at it. Look at that plate of food. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. I mean, look at it. 
body. All right, I'm just, uh, I mean, I'm talking about just a, a real quick render. Uh, we, we need to do some stuff. Okay, so you would need to do <laughs> some, obviously this is just a raw pile of crap render. It's not good at all. It's not even using Arnold materials or anything. So, I mean, let's give it a pass. Let's give it a pass. What I can do here for quick, quick shites and giggles is I can take away the bloody specular. See, see what it does. But, oh, I, it's, it's not using anything. It's not using nothing from uh what we what we want okay so it comes with a metallic comes with the normal comes with the albedo and a roughness which is actually pretty cool so it does it does come with a couple of maps that you can use uh what's nice about it is is that if you do take you know you can you can say custom for what thingamabobby is it so if you want to use it for uh maya you can you can you can select it for maya and it'll throw out the maps for that which is pretty cool it's pretty cool here's the interesting thing it's uh 1k maps these are all 1k maps which are they let's just see the albedo properties where's the properties details okay 2k so the normals are 1k albedo's a 2k that's a bit weird it uh it gives you the kind of maps. I don't know if you can change the resolution of these maps. I'm going to have to see. So I don't know anything about that yet, Ari. But it doesn't look like it. Uh, but it might. I don't know yet. I don't know. All right. Looking at this one. Well, hold on, mate. Before we go there, let's have a look at this. I mean, it's a, it's a, quite a nice optimized mesh. You know, it's not that bad. If I go into there and then either, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to soften the edges can do this in blender or maya and i mean you do get something right you do it's not beautiful it really isn't but you know if you're using it say that that far it's perfect <laughs> if you use it that far you just sort it mate they go what is that oh mate it's a fries and chips mate burger no if you if you use it somewhere like here and you do the you you're going to get a, a decent thing i think you can use it uh, it's 37,000 tries. Eh? 37,000 tries? That's ridiculous. But if I take it and I, uh, you know, once again, you, you'll have to retexture it if you do it, but you can uh, retopologize or remesh it. You can remesh it, decide to remesh it. You just got to watch out how many polygons you throw at it. <laughs> look, look at this thing. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back, but uh, I mean you can you can remesh the thing. You can the only thing is if you retopologize the thing, uh, mesh, retopologize. You don't have a uh, hard edges. You don't have a, a a thingy to keep the the uh, UVs. So you're gonna have to do the UVs again, and you know play with the play with the target counts and stuff, and and you'll you'll get something half decent. But you'd have to retexture it, so that doesn't. That doesn't really help. I mean, uh, the geometry's not that bad as it came in with, so we're okay there. All right, on to this little fella. Let's have a look at him. That looks pretty cool. I mean, that uh, you, you can see it's yeah. It's not great, but it's not bad. I'm gonna read apologize and take. Let's take the low rays now. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, let's take the high rays. Uh, let's take the high rays of this one because we got a high rays model, and then we'll take a low rays of it. Okay. So I'm going to download that one. Let's see what I let, oh, Okay, so now let's uh, let's get on to the next one. So this is that uh, thing. Once again, broken up into multiple pieces. This isn't great for real-time light baking. It's not. For real-time, you're good. And for rendering, you're fine. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it. Let's see the model. You see, nicely optimized, actually. So they, they do a good job. So what I'm saying is if, uh, and obviously, you know, I'm not going to, but if you spend a bit of time in the materials in Unreal Engine or this, you you will get half decent results. You will. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. But this is just a quick glimpse at it. We'll come back. We'll come back and, and start putting this into Unreal and stuff. Um, but I think, you know, they can be used if you use them that far perfect it's perfect i mean 
takes you minutes to generate, download, very quick. It's uh, And if you're using that file, you're good. <laughs> all right, a little bit closer. But uh, actually, if you want to fill up a scene with objects, uh, this is all very exciting, to be honest. I don't think it's there yet. It's far from it. But man, isn't that quite impressive? You can prompt a model. Ari, what do you think about it? Who gives a shit, Ari? No one cares about your, your stupid opinion. But I think this is pretty damn good, man. It's, it's exciting. Put it that way. It's exciting. I, it's not ready for anything professional. I, it's not. But um, if this is the, you know, these are signs of what's to come. These are all in infant stages. This is, this is very impressive. You prompt a model. You prompt a model. And that's it. You can easy to export, take it out. So this is, it's exciting. It's exciting, and I can't wait to see what they come up with next, like uh, how this progresses. It's pretty damn cool, man. It's pretty damn cool. But with regards to using for professional use, uh, high-res models, close-ups, any professional kind of work, it's not there yet. Background props, like if it's if you show it at that distance, it's totally fine. But um, otherwise, it's exciting to see where we're going with all this AI crap. Let's see. Anyway, I hope this helps. A nice little introduction to this. And, uh, you know, you can see if it's for you if you want to try it out. It's free! So, for now. So, you may as well try it out. Uh, Alright, have a good one. Bye, guys.